Yo, what's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your uh, it's your boy Ojama Drama Garrett, and also Gun YouTuber, Gun Guy now, Super Gun, Gun YouTuber Ojama Garrett. Super controversial. How much more controversial can it get? I own a firearm. Um, insane controversy coming to you, and the uh, the the topics I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, so obviously this drama is going to be about, um, this conversation, this topic today is going to be about guns and uh, what I think about guns. So what I think about guns is guns are amazing and awesome and cool and really cool and awesome. And I really like guns. I think they're an awesome hobby. I like guns in video games. I just think firearms are really cool. The mechanics are really cool. Uh, the ballistics are really cool. The, the advancement of technology through um, guns is really cool. I'm really interested in guns. I really like guns. Uh, I think they're an awesome tool to survive. I think they're an awesome tool for self-defense. I think they're an awesome tool for maintaining your liberties. Uh, so that being said, uh, I know there's a lot of things that people say that I think are just like fundamentally stupid as fuck when it comes to guns, like how guns are like the worst things to happen. Um, I don't know, since like mankind or something like that. Like uh, People like to go around blaming guns a lot. I think it's uh, for crimes and bad things and stuff like that. But I think guns get a lot of bad press and i don't think people actually like when they when they talk about guns are actually stopping to have a conversation about um like have a legitimate conversation about firearms um so like the main argument i would bring forth why you should stop trying to regulate firearms is uh for women women and children and what i mean there is uh, uh most men are stronger than most women okay um criminals a lot of criminals are from what i know they're pretty powerful men um like if you get a prisoner you know you've heard of the term the prison body and stuff like that i mean I, i've hung around with around a lot of criminals and stuff like that too and they're pretty gassed they're pretty big dudes um some of them are skinnier or whatever but like most dudes like that um they're pretty strong um so most criminals i think are pretty athletic so that most criminals i'm gonna guess are going like because you could say like three percent commit like all the crime or something like that they're they're more the like the psychopathic territory like if you you know what i mean like criminals good criminals too are going to be really strong and uh your your girlfriend or your wife or the ladies of the community you know what i mean they're not going to be able to just physically fight them off and i've heard dub or dub dub a dumb argument that like just use mace just carry mace have you ever been sprayed in the face with mace before and then I, I remember saying to them, like, well, you, how about we both take turns? You spray me with mace, and I'll shoot you with a gun, and then we'll see which one hurts more. Uh, and essentially, that joke was a little bit, like, memeing a little bit, but it was essentially outlining the uh, case that guns, so my first argument is that guns are the great equalizer, okay? So, like, if I'm going to run up on a little kid and I want to steal his wallet, or like, little kids probably don't have that, but if I just, you know, if I'm a criminal and I want to beat the crap out of a little kid for no reason... For whatever reason, I don't know why people do what they do, but you would have, like, if that kid pulled out a 22 out of his pocket and shot me in the face, it doesn't really matter how much I could overpower them. Um, like, same thing, like, if there was a woman walking home at night from her job, wherever, you know, and there's a D-net fist waiting in the, uh, the alleyway, uh, and wants to grab her and D-net her. And if the criminal is athletic enough, because most criminals are men, and most criminals have the ability then to become stronger than women, so if they want to, like, more women, they can just become stronger. Very simple math there. But if you pull a woman into the uh, alley, you're much more likely to... ...her if she does not have a firearm. Um, that's what I'm saying. And then, like, the main reason why I say that firearms... We can have conversation. So my main position when it comes to firearms is that we can have a conversation about gun control, like where it's uh, okay to have a firearm, like in public and uh, in your business. If I walk into your business and you say no firearms allowed here, that's not, that's I feel perfectly acceptable because it's not my property. But like where the issue comes to me is that like, yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of on the fence about like public, um, you know, I should be able to carry a gun in public, but like if they, if, if a town wants to ban open carry or like have, um, training courses, like certifications required to conceal carry and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm reasonable enough to talk about that type of stuff, but like any regulation to like what I have in my home personally about like most things, uh, I don't think that you have any business in my home because I'm paying taxes to, to own my home, uh, to participate in this country. So how I defend my property is none of your fucking business. Um, 
Like, there's the argument that would be made that was like, oh, your firearm, maybe you'll get mad one day and then, like, shoot your family. It's like, well, I mean, so if we took a different a family and the dad or whatever comes home and he has a psychotic break, he's not going to need a firearm to kill his whole family. Okay. So, I mean, like, that point is just, and you could say, well, it'll make it easier. It's like, well, there's knives in the house. Are we going to be like the UK and start banning knives too? How about pencils? How about pens? How about sharpness? Are we just going to ban sharpness? So now we have to round down every corner of the house. Where does it end? And then you'd say, oh, that's a slippery slope fallacy. And I'd say, well, no, it's not a fallacy. If that's what you fuckers would eventually lead to. And we have examples to show in the world that do rep like that, that, is, that will happen or has a chance of happening based on like just arbitrarily banning things just because reasons or whatever. So I want to, I want to talk about another statistic which is why I'm really passionate about you can't tell me what I can have in my house is um, I have it right here just so I can read it. I Googled it right before. Uh, according to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, sexual assault or rape occurs in about 3% of the households that experience a completed burglary. Additionally, over 60% of assaults, including rape, happen during home invasions. Okay. So that scares me. Okay. You know, it makes me not want to go have a job because then if you go down, when do uh, burglaries most commonly happen between 10 a.m. and 3 a.m.? And that tells me they're happening because the husbands are at work. That would be a great time to go rob somebody's houses when you know they're either no one home or it's just the wife and kids because it seems like a pretty easy target to me. But, you know, like some of these criminals are pretty smart. They, they, they do it as a career. They get better at it. So it just makes me have peace of mind knowing that I have a firearm at the house so that if somebody was going to kick out our front door or attempt to, uh, my girlfriend can send a shower of bullets right back to the door and make them go, f you know, make them wish they were never born. Um, so that being said, I don't even really want to talk about the main arguments uh, that people say, like, you know, it's to prevent a tyrannical government. I believe that, but I don't really care to debate that. Uh, the Where it becomes a serious issue for me is that I want to be able to protect my family. They mean everything to me. And the way the guns the the gun control community and how they like use like kid puppets and then like misrepresent things like how they say like guns are the number one causes of uh, children's deaths but i think in those statistics that they use adults like um they 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 like if you take away like 16 17 and 18 year olds or something along the lines of that like the number one cause of death in kids is actually like um what is it genetic mutations are like uh DNA diseases, whatever, where the, the kids like hunters and stuff like the shit my kids got. Uh, those are the things that are is the leading cause of killing. If you take away the teenagers, the ones most actively involved in gangs, violence and stuff like that. And it's not school shootings because they could fight that with school shootings because mass shootings are an atrocity. But it's mostly inner city violence and gang warfare or kids like just like, you know, you're the most violent when you're a teenager. That's one of the reasons why I think they, oh, whatever, that doesn't matter either. Sorry. I have to edit this one a lot, but, or maybe I won't, but yeah. So I mean like guns. Yeah. You want to talk about what guns to ban? Uh, I, I think you're stupid to ban any of them because like I said, banning guns is stupid. Just inherently. I think it's just a stupid thing to ban guns because let's say, okay, you, you want to get rid of mass shooters, which are so rare. They're rarer than like, they're super rare. They're super duper, 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 duper rare. Like as much as the news wants to fucking, I think they just have the news about them and like drag out each mass shooting for so long that they like make it perceive, they perceive it as like a uh, common event. When like, if you think about the amount of events that happen in the country daily, which is like trillions and trillions, and trillions, and trillions, and trillions of moments and all the actual crimes that do happen within those, uh, in those moments, um, mass shootings are like last on the list. And then I think one of my friends used to say like, oh, because the deaths are small, we shouldn't worry about them. It's like, yes. Yes, we shouldn't worry about them. Um, yeah. I mean, like if schools want to, you know what I mean? So up security at schools, up security at businesses, up security. It's a cost to do a business, bro. Like we can't just be like, oh, if the gut, like, so, but why it's so inherently stupid is because like if a mass shooter, a mentally ill person who's mentally ill enough that they want to go to a school and shoot that up, if you ban their guns, They'll just get fertilizer and they'll make C4. Okay. And then if you, well, you get I mean, it's already limited. Like they already regulated uh, fertilizer and hurt a lot of farmers because of uh, what was 9 11 or the Oklahoma City bombing. I don't remember. I just remember when I was growing up because I farmed. It like mattered to us a lot that we couldn't get fertilizer because uh, my buddy's farms also hurt because of it because everybody was a terrorist after 9 11 or something like that. So you couldn't get fertilizer because they were afraid of like explosives being made and shit like that. Um, and then if you pay on the fertilizer, you know, 
here's a scenario for you. All the kids are walking out to the bus and what's going to stop this mentally ill person who wants to mass shoot everybody from stealing their parents' car, like an SUV, let's say, or something like that, or anybody's car and just driving through the yard and smoking everybody walking to the bus. Like they'll get the same, roughly the same amount of kills as they would if they used a rifle. Um, I'm just saying, like, they'll find a way. Where there's a will, where there's a way, and banning a gun is, banning guns isn't effectively even going to help. Um, like, if you look at, like, let's look at Uvalde. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a horrible tragedy, but that came down to the police response, if I remember correctly. Uh, it wasn't gun's fault that that happened. That was the police being fucking stupid dipshits. You know what I mean? Like, and those are the types of, and if we ban guns, that's the type of fucking uh, institutions that you want to put your faith in. Um uh, not me. Uh, and like, yeah, it's all risk assessment and stuff like that. And I'm a little bit more like in my own house and I don't really like going places and stuff like that because I always have a risk, um, a risk assessing mind. So I don't like going to like super public places for very long or very often because I don't like, that's where like the more it's not about shootings or anything like that, but like the more off, like, like let's, let's say bars. If you don't, I avoid bars because bad things usually happen at bars. You know what I mean? There's like positive situations that happen at bars and there's a lot of negative situations at bars. I want to avoid as many negative situations as possible at the bars where a lot of negative situations happen. So the cost, like the, uh, the cost, the danger of going to a bar, you know, like fights, screaming matches, wasting all your money because they charge you $10 for a beer, uh, all those things, they do not outweigh what the bar provides as like a, a positive in return because like all the things that i could do at a bar i could do at my house so i'd rather just be at my house and drink cheap you know what i mean all right oh yeah and then okay just to uh, finish the the video off uh i just want to talk about how like the first gun control group the people who are making our moral arguments about guns like they usually like usually the conversation usually swings into a moral argument and so you're on the moral side of the first I think the first gun control group in America when gun control was first getting pushed was the KKK to stop black people from getting guns. So if you want to make a moral argument, are you really, do you think that the KKK is a moral group? I guess so. If you believe in gun control. Um, yeah. So black people, they, they tried to use gun control first against black people because the KKK wants black people not to own firearms. I believe in firearms because I want to protect my family. All the other conversation is kind of like, moot to me. I don't really care. I mean, like, there's a lot of, like, I'll debate it for fun, but I'm not gonna, like, that would be, like, a voting issue for me. It would be, like, uh, gun control and stuff like that. Like, And, um, if it came down to it, like, if I was not allowed to use tools to protect my home, then I don't really see the point in actually trying to be productive, because if I can't leave my house because, uh, crime is happening, and I can't, like, protect it, or I have to physically be home all the time to protect my house, and I'm not going to be as productive as if I'm allowed to just have a firearm for uh, intruders. And most gun control, most of the conversation is just a waste of fucking time anyway, because most conversations are fucking a waste of time anyway. And that's why I'm doing four, uh, formats like this, where I just bitch about my takes, because I'm not really looking interested to have uh, conversations or debates. I mean, yeah, I would have a debate for people on YouTube or something like that, but just in my free time, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have debates with people because most of the people I've argued with with guns, like in my old friend group, were super disingenuous about it. Super bad faith. They always devolve like almost immediately. Like this is such a, this is why extra, extra take. Don't argue with people. The only, only one dumber than a fool is one that argues with one. And like the best way to indicate a fool, like from Proverbs is like people who mock, mock and sarcasm or sarcasm and like a little bit stuff like that if you can't respect your opponent a uh, different viewpoint than me i kind of take the, t the sun zoo method where you have to like treat your enemy as if they're better than you so then like i'm like i'm like ready to you know what i mean i like i get into this mentality where they're like better than me and i'm always trying to think about like what things they could be saying or what am i saying that they could poke holes in it if they like are, are on their a game uh, on their a game and i'm assuming that they're like more intelligent than me because Acting in that regard, I'm a lot more like uh, vicious in a fight. You know, if like you're gonna fight somebody you like respect and you're like you think you're fighting for your life, you're gonna fight. You're gonna you're gonna treat them with respect. So you're gonna fight a lot more viciously if a fight breaks out. It's the same thing with debating too. But like when I used to argue with my friends, there was no real conversation. It just immediately started devolving to like uh, teabagging, uh, like uh, what was it? Uh, grouping up, 
like where you'd sit there and like everybody would like dogpile, dogpiling that happened all the time. Usually I have like takes that are just like uh, unpopular in my friend group and stuff like that. So they constantly dogpile that me and then that would just turn into making fun of me and stuff like that. When like, just to be clear, everybody in that old group that I used to be friends with, none of you would talk to me like that in person or without the rule of law because I could beat the fuck out of every single one of you fuckers easily. So I just know that for a fact, which is why that just like uh, fundamentally makes me mad because I could very easily beat the fuck it's wrong to do that, but I'm just saying you wouldn't if I could. You know what I'm saying? Like if they like if we went into what is the purge, most people wouldn't say anything. Uh, that's kind of why like I ha- I kind of have like a, a romanticized um um I kind of romanticize uh like the UFC and like the old the old ways. I know it's ultimately not good for survival of humanity in general because it's not like very produ- uh, it's not productive to ha- like to allow violence to exist in society. But just a little, like the purge, that's why it's a perfect movie because it's like. Yeah, bro. Like, imagine if that was real and you said all that shit to me. I would fucking wait for the purge and your ass would get fucking got, bitch. And you would, like, the movie was kind of fucked up, but, like, that would actually, in a way, solve a lot of the shit talk in our fucking country. Because, like, like I said, again, just want to reiterate, all of you people who have, like, disrespected the fuck out of me or talk shit, I can squat more than every single one of you. I have a lot of fighting experience. I could just... It's just a matter of fact. I, it's not because I'm better than you, but you just wouldn't like if you you wouldn't say that shit to like a hardened criminal, somebody who just got like somebody covered in face tats, bald, and didn't care about going to jail. You would not talk shit to their face. That means that people who talk to you like that are just straight up pussies, and it's not like fucking worth your time to argue with them because they're just pussies, and they're just like maybe they know they're pussies, like stupid fucking pussies. And they just like talk shit to talk shit because it makes them feel strong. Like it's maybe they're trying to like pretend to be strong, but yeah. That being said, I just wanted to really nail that hole because all of those people I used to talk to, I can beat the fuck out of every single one of you easily. And it's not even close. And the fact that I won't because of the law doesn't mean I can't beat the fuck out of you. It, like they, they do that too. They, 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 they hide behind the law. People like the slimy uh, Reddit posters, uh, Reddit moderator type people, they hide behind the law and they talk shit. Like they know that you can't do that. You won't do anything to them because you have self-control and don't want to get in trouble. So there's just no point in arguing with like normies unless it's like for a benefit. That's why I started saying to them, don't fucking talk to me unless it's on my YouTube because I want to get some content out of it at least. Anyway, that being said, this was a little bit longer because I got off on that random tangent. But again, I can beat you up. I'm not going to. This isn't a threat or anything that I just know. Like, but if you guys want to set up like a, a street fight or not a street fight, like a UFC fight or something like that, I'm all more for it. And I'll beat the fuck out of every single one of you because you're all fucking pussies. And like, I wanted, I like you guys a lot. I wanted to be friends with you, but like the way that you guys treated me in that Discord, uh, fuck you. Like, I'm over it. Uh, but I would still, you know, it, it would probably do a lot of good if you guys could apologize for the way you fucking like are super disingenuous and bad faith about everything. But so. So that being said, drama, jo- drama, gun YouTuber uh, Ojaba Garrett's out of here. Uh, fuck all you guys. Yeah, I could beat again. I could I could beat the fuck out of all of you. I just want to really nail that home. See you later.